What's up, everyone? It's Liz. If you've noticed, QuickBooks Online has completely changed their interface. And if it's throwing you off or confusing you, do not worry, because today I'm going to show you three features that the new QuickBooks has that I think you're going to love. The third one is my absolute favorite one. So let's get started. <music> Okay, so the first thing that we're going to go through is the bank transaction screen. So to get to that screen, you're going to go right up here where it says my menu, and we're going to go down to bank transactions. And as you can see, the layout does look different than the original one. So the first thing that we're going to notice is right here where it says pending, posted and excluded. This used to actually say for review categorized and excluded. So just a few changes in the terminology. The next thing we're going to notice is we do have this option right here where it says request. And I'm going to get into that in a little bit, but I did just want to make sure that you understand this page. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, we have some transactions. The first one I have is American Airlines. So we have our date, our bank description, we have what was spent and any money that was received. Then you're going to notice this little paper clip. So this paper clip simply means that there's an attachment or if you want to add one, you can. So if I were to click on this, it's going to open up my files and allow me to attach something if I'd like to. The next thing you're going to notice is this little box, which is the request more info box, which I will show you in part two. Then from and to would be your customer or your vendor. And then you have this match categorize. So it has a toggle right here where if I were to match this or try to match this with a bill or a journal entry, I would actually click on this and it would allow me to find a match. So I'm going to X out of that. But if you want to toggle over, you just click on it. If I categorize, it just goes on there. Now the other change is right here. See where it says post. This used to say add on the old version, but now it says post. Again, it still is the same thing in terms of adding that transaction. If I click on the drop down, I'm going to see four different options. I have split, create rule, categorization history, and exclude. So if I want to split a transaction, let's just say I want to put it 50% to one account, 50% to another, you could do that this way. If you want to create a rule for the transaction, you can easily click on this. Categorization history is really great. Let me click on this to show you what I mean. Categorization history actually now goes back 24 months. And if there was a history of things that I categorized, it would show me here. So let me see if I can get this to show up on another one for you. Here we go. Okay. This is just an example um, we have right here. This was put to meals in the past. So I can actually see where I categorized that before. So that is categorization history. So now I'm going to scroll over a little and I'm just going to click into the transaction. Now, again, here is a transaction type. You could change your account, your vendor or your customer are listed here. Your bank description or your memo is here. And the one thing that the new QuickBooks does is it gives you suggestions based on the bank description, which I really like. So it reads the entire memo right here, American Airlines, and it gives you a suggestion based off of that information. And a lot of times it actually gets it correct. So they do give you options like that. And down here, again, you can choose to post it. You could choose to split it here as well. Originally, when they started working with some of the beta of the new layout, they didn't have split down here, but now they do, which is great. Create rule and exclude. So everything that was in that drop down menu is also right here. The other thing that's very convenient is you can very easily add a vendor or a customer. So do you see how it says add interest charge? It's assuming that's the name of the vendor just because of the bank memo. But if it was any other name, it would be as easy as clicking on this and then hitting save. But I don't want to save it under that. I actually want to save it under American Express. And then I'm going to post this. So the second thing that we're going to go over are requests. And I love this feature because it really makes it easy to communicate with people on your team or the business owner about particular transactions. So if I were to go right here, right, do you see right here where it has like this little bubble? If I were to click on the plus sign, it's going to allow me to ask for more information. So I can ask for a receipt. I can ask for more info and I can post it. So once I post it, it's actually going to show up over here. 
under request. Now, right here you can see I asked this request. Let's just say I didn't know what this American Airlines transaction was for. I say, who is this for or what is this for? Now, the cool thing is if I have a list of a ton of questions and I want to send it to the team or the business owner, I can click right here and click copy magic link. And what they're going to do is they would open that link. Let's say I email it to them. And then they're going to be able to open up this page and they would have all of the transactions that I have questions on and they could just go right in here. They can attach a receipt if they need to. They can add their answers right here. So when I go into my side, it's still going to look the same, but it's going to give me the answer that they put in here. So do you see how that just moved? So new in progress. So right here, it's saying, all right, here's the response. And if I were to hit complete, I would be like, okay, I know what this is for. I click complete. And once it's completed, it's going to move all the way over here. So this is really awesome. If you want to reopen it, you can. The other thing is you can actually change your settings so that way you can put alerts. So let's say every morning you want to request um, an alert or you want to let them know that you sent something, you can set that up as well. So requests are really awesome because it helps everybody stay on the same page. The third and final thing are the bank reconciliations. And this one has me the most excited. So to get to bank reconciliations, you can go over here to my menu and you can click reconcile, or you could do it the old way. Come to this settings gear right here. And again, click reconcile here. You could choose whichever one you want to do. Now, the reason why I'm so excited about this is because you can now upload a PDF, JPEG, PNG, or HEIC file, and it's going to read it. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click right here. Here is my bank statement for my Amex card, and I want you to see what it does. Right now, it's going to extract all the transactions. So this might take anywhere between 60 to maybe 90 seconds, depending on how big the statement is. Okay, and you see how AI just said, I added the ending balance and the ending date from your statement. So you can verify and say, okay, is this correct? You will look at your bank statement, check your ending balance and your ending date. And when you're ready, you click start reconciling. Now, right here, it's going to say, okay, here are the totals from the bank statement, the beginning balance, the total amount of charges, the amount of payments and the ending balance. And then it's going to say, okay, but here's what's in QuickBooks. So there's no variance, which is great, right? I don't have a variance. It automatically reconciled itself. Now, if there was a variance, here's the cool thing. It's going to tell you, let's say the amount. And if I were to scroll down, it's going to highlight these in a different color, which is going to tell you that something needs to be uh, unchecked. It'll tell you something like that. So I think that's a really, really cool feature because it does make reconciling your accounts a lot easier. So since this automatically did it for me, I just click finish now and my bank accounts are reconciled. Guys, this is a game changer because bank recs can be messy, but because it's helping you, because AI is reading it, it's really, really, really helpful. The other thing I do want to mention is if there's anything missing in QuickBooks that they noticed on your, on your bank rec or on your statement, it's going to ask you if you would like to add it, which is another really awesome feature. And that's it. If you want to learn more about QuickBooks Online and the new version of it, I created a course specifically for you that walks you through it from beginning to end. So even if you have no experience with accounting, I promise you're going to be able to do this on your own by the time you're done. So make sure to check the link in the description and check it out. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao!